Let's talk about Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. This verse is extremely popular among missionaries who try to convert the Jewish people. They take this verse and they said, hey, look at this verse. The God of Israel demands blood in order to grant atonement. And while that is true of the New Testament God who demands blood for atonement in Hebrews 9, 22, it has nothing to do with the Hebrew scriptures. You see, this verse is taken very, very much out of context. If we go back to verse 10 and we read through verse 14, we see something very different than what the missionaries would want you to believe. These verses are telling us that God doesn't want us consuming blood. It's all about eating blood. The God of Israel finds it absolutely odious when we eat blood. And in fact, he says the person who eats blood from any flesh will be cut off. He takes it very, very seriously. Now, verse 11 tells us that there is one single use of blood. We are allowed to use it in atonement rituals. What's extremely important to note is that it limits the use of blood to atonement, but it does not limit atonement to the use of blood. God can forgive without blood, and blood was only allowed in atonement rituals in very specific situations. There was no all-encompassing sacrifice for sin. Now here is a big shocker. In the Christian Bible, Jesus is having a last supper with his disciples and he tells them, eat and drink this. This is my body and this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And the Eucharist, communion, has become extremely important inside of churches. People actually eat what they believe is the body and the blood of Jesus. Some people believe it is real and some people believe that it's just a remembrance. Either way, it is called ritual cannibalism, and it is odious to the God of Israel. Remember, anybody who eats the blood of any flesh is cut off. It makes you really wonder how the writers of the New Testament came up with this odious idea. Clearly, they weren't coming from a Jewish mindset. Clearly, they weren't coming from a background of the Hebrew scriptures. So where did they get this idea from? Ritual cannibalism is extremely common in pagan religions and was endemic in the Greco-Roman world. It was very common among the mystery religions which share many similarities with Christianity. Even today, there are still some pagan cults that consume blood. There's two key points I want you to walk away with now. Number one, atonement is not limited to blood. And number two, consuming blood is odious to the God of Israel. If you truly love the God of Israel, I suggest you never take another communion in your life. You stop with the Eucharist and you get yourself out of a church as quickly as possible.